JDev is back at it here to give everyone another Walking Dead Season 3 episode review video. But before I get into that, it's extremely important if you're not caught up to the point where I am in rewatching or watching The Walking Dead to pay attention to that episode title. I'll put that title in the description. If that's the case and you find out that you're not caught up, I suggest that you don't watch this video any further simply to avoid any potential spoilers. This will be The Walking Dead Season 3, Episode Number 4. The title of this episode is called Killer Within. This will be my review, reaction, recap of the episode. It's one of my favorite episodes, definitely one in the top 10. I'm reviewing it for the channel due to the fact that they announced that the Season 11 of The Walking Dead will be the final season of The Walking Dead original show. So outside the prison, a unidentified individual lures a group of walkers toward the prison, breaking open the front gate's locks to allow them inside. At Woodbury, Michonne is suspicious of how the governor recovered supplies from a nearby National Guard camp, but he refuses to discuss it. Michonne expresses her concerns with Andrea and believes they should leave and head for the coast. Andrea would rather stay and provide information on the farm, the farm's whereabouts, to allow Merle to look for Daryl. The governor tells Merle he will allow the search once Merle obtains more concrete information. Andrea begins to become romantically involved with the governor. That's kind of the synopsis for Woodbury's uh, parts in the episode. And then back at the prison, Rick discusses with the others about making the prison their permanent home. The two remaining prisoners, Axel and Oscar, request to join the group, but Rick, still distrustful, informs them of his intent to send them away at the end of the week. Uh, they don't like their cell. There's dead bodies all over. These are people that they were friends with, and they're apparently guys with uh, good heads on, or you know, they have they're good people. Just you know, got caught in bad situations and they got in prison. So they say. But they don't want to be in that cell block because of all the, the bad things that happen in there. Or not. So the group gathers as Herschel comes out and takes his first steps after the amputation of sorts of his foot. Suddenly, all of a sudden, walkers swarm the courtyard where Herschel, Beth, Lori, Maggie, Carl, and Carol and T-Dog are all at, scattering the group. T-Dog and them start to shoot the walkers, and T-Dog tries to close the gate again to, you know, keep some walkers in, an, uh, in a certain area. And in doing so, T-Dog is actually bitten when shutting the gate. He races, him and Carol go down a corridor, and he sacrifices, well, they race at, down a corridor, and he actually sacrifices himself by barreling into a walker horde to let Carol escape. So I didn't see that coming. T-Dog I thought was a really underrated character and uh, this stuff happens. And then you got Rick, Glenn, and Daryl who are all outside the prison because they had got either they were in the process of burning the dead bodies or getting them in the position to bury or burn them, whatever they were doing. But they uh, they find the gates lock broken and res and they try to fix it to prevent further walkers from entering. Rick accuses Axel and Oscar of the treachery, but an alarm begins to sound uh, due to the activation of the backup generator, potentially drawing more walkers. Now, Rick realizes the prisoners cannot be at fault and lets them lead him to the generator room. There they find Andrew, whom Rick had left for dead, as the person that uh, started all this. Uh, Andrew's the one that was spying on them, and Andrew's about to kill Rick when Oscar grabs the gun, because it was on the ground, and shoots him, and then turns the gun over to Rick as they stop the generator and disable the alarm. Elsewhere, Carl, Maggie, and uh, Lori had gone down a different corridor, and Carl covers for his mother, Lori, Maggie, as they take shelter in a boiler room. Lori, Lori great timing, Lori. She's gone into labor, but is bleeding profusely during her contractions, thus unable to give birth properly in the boiler room. Lori demands Maggie perform a lethal C-section to deliver the child, knowing it will kill her, but would rather die knowing her baby would live. So, the they Maggie 
she says that Maggie has to do it because Herschel's not around and Carol's not around. And then her and Carl have a very emotional moment. I hate Lori, and I kind of hate Carl. Not as much now because he's been a little bit more productive in season three, but it was a very emotional moment in television history. That like what they said, like you, you'd be good now, boy. And you know, as Carl's still a young kid in the zombie apocalypse, you know. So they say their goodbyes, and uh, Maggie performs the procedure. The baby is delivered safely, but Lori, of course, dies. Carl takes a moment to mourn before shooting her in the head to prevent her from becoming a walker now with the walkers dealt with the group rejoins in the courtyard though carol is still missing so t-dog pushed all the walkers back against the wall sacrificing himself he was already bit anyway and carol ran past him and daryl had found carol's uh whatever she's wearing to cover her hair that was laying on the ground and carol's nowhere to be found so we don't know where carol is and then Rick sees Carl and Maggie emerging from a cell block with the baby, but realizes Lori is not with them and becomes hysterical as he begins to figure out that Lori didn't make it. So, very emotional face on Rick's, Rick's face at the end of the episode. And this was a crazy episode for the fourth episode in the season. And remind you, I started walking, watching The Walking Dead in season two. So all of a sudden we get this. Now, I really liked Beside the Dying Fire, the season two finale. But this episode was absolutely insane. I did not expect Laura to die this soon. I didn't expect it's T-Dog to die this soon. In fact, I didn't expect either of them to die because I hadn't read the comic books or I hadn't got knowledge of the comic books at that time so i was very like what the fuck is going on here thing i thought t-dog was very underutilized and re-watching the series over now he's actually a very important character that i think got his death way too soon and laurie she's a fucking bitch so i'm glad that she died but it, i it, i think she should have lived until the finale of season three personally if if she could have so I mean, this episode was crazy from beginning to end with all the walkers and like nobody, nobody with weapons is around. You've got Herschel with no weapons. You got Beth with no weapons. You've got Coral, Lori, and Maggie. They got some weapons on them, and then you got T Dog and Carol all in the courtyard with Rick, Glenn, and Daryl like locked out of the prison at the moment, and then they have to like close back up the initial entry that they have, and then open this other door, and then run down here and open this other door. And they somehow only lost uh, T-Dog, and right now Carol's missing. So as far as the score of this episode, I can't give Killer Within an anything less than a 10. This is one of the most impactful episodes in The Walking Dead. It's not my favorite episode, but it's damn. It's definitely in the top 10 with the Beside the Dying Fire, and then other episodes that I really liked, like uh, What Lies Ahead, Maybe Days Gone By, and uh, Pretty Much Dead Already, or like the five episodes so far that have been really good. I like Seed, too. That would be in the top 20. The season three finale, uh, premiere. So, you've heard what I have to say. I really like Killer Within. I think it's an amazing episode, and especially at the point that it was at, didn't see any of this coming. It's not a mid-season finale. It's not a premiere. It's not a finale. It's like just smack dab at the beginning of the season, all of a sudden. So, you've heard my thoughts. Now it's your turn. So, if you're a fan of The Walking Dead and you absolutely love this series and love the episode Killer Within and think this show changed your life essentially when it premiered in 2010. Go ahead and smash that like button if you know anybody else that you think would be interested in listening or watching this video. Go ahead and share the video with them. Let them know they shared it with other people that they know. Do me a favor if you could and leave me a comment about the episode, about your favorite moment, your favorite character, anything you really realistically could think of, your score of the episode. And of course, last but certainly not least, well actually let me come come to this part too my character of the episode wow that's a tough one you know what i'm gonna give it to t-dog t-dog was the man he saved carol so far and well okay all of us have seen the walking dead i think we know what a badass carol turns out to be if it wasn't for t-dog then Carol wouldn't, wouldn't have been what she is now. So T-Dog is the character of the episode. And of course, last but certainly not least, don't forget to hit that sub button. Subscribe to this channel, join the team, show your support, and be a part of something special. And J-Dev will return.